everybody. I'm so happy to see so many black people coming together. We are not black. The correct term is African. Oh, I got you, brother. That's fine. I can go with that. No, we are Moors. Learn your history. It's okay, brother. He didn't know. I mean, Jesus and Joe Biden. Thank you, sister. I get it. All right, listen. Go I am not your sister. Okay. I am not even I. I identify as we. Okay, well, they identify you as Okay, so I need for you, I'm sorry, I need y'all to take several seats so we can all get together. The just... Israelites are here. Thank you, brother. Can you have a seat, please? Thank you. I get it. No, we are Muslim. Assalamu alaikum. I get it. We're all from different backgrounds. This is crib. Huh? Oh. oh, damn. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS who I learned from. Shalom to the whole for elect, preaching his word and truth and sincerity. And to you ribs, you just out there learning silence and stay in the order. Right, this is a, um, what do they call it? Is it a spoof? I don't know what they, how they call that. But man, this is, it was a funny um, clip about, you know, black people getting together or whatever, but... In reality, man, hey, this is why, you know, we have to wait for Yahweh Hashem Shai to bring us back, right, under one banner, right, because we can't do it ourselves, man, it's not for us to do, it's not in our power, right, there's so many different doctors out there, not everybody's going to agree to one. You know, and, and this is exactly what happens when you try to uh, bring different doctors, doctrines into one roof. We've seen it happen uh, in uh, Israel a lot, especially in the truth. You know, we see uh, Masha Yasharala was a, uh, it's called the government of Israel. And there was a bunch of different camps in there, right? And... Uh, it's supposed to be a, a unity thing where all camps come together and you know they preach you know they they, they, they link up in different cities and uh, you know eventually you know something that sounds good on paper or doesn't always work as you see uh, a lot of those groups have already you know separated and you know they, they remain friends and friends but you know they, there's only one thing that could really unify us man um, and, and on another note while Israel's trying to unify themselves, um, you know, using scriptures like Zephaniah to uh, gather yourselves together, O nation not desired, right? You know, while 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 the woke side of things is trying to get together, Esau is trying to um, cause division, right? Because that's really uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai uh, making Esau divide. Uh, Israel, right? Because uh, in Matthew it talks about, I, I don't think that I come to bring peace but a sword, right? He, he comes to bring division between a mother and a daughter, right? He comes to bring separation. He comes to separate the sheep from the goat, you know, and, and, and he uses Esau to do these things because he's the one who gave Esau the power to begin with, right? And then we have other Israelites, uh, top Israelite groups who are in league with Esau, right? Be a, you know, whether it be uh, under the control of Esau through a 501c3 uh, or, you know, taking the bag, right? We just, speaking on that incident that happened, you know, about a couple weeks ago with IUIC and ISGPK, um, you know, what I see happening is ICPK just basically just throwing the, the Bible to the side and just trying to um, uh, seek vengeance, man. Right? And the scriptures tell us that vengeance is of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Esau's getting ready to uh, unleash something. On Jake, right? And you worried about corner banging? Let's take a look at some of these pictures from uh, Facebook, right? 
It says, the spoils of this war, speaking on the IUIC versus ISUPK, will be purple and gold. Like, like that's that that that's super carnal right there, man. Like a spoil of a war, man. You talk. You, this is, this is, uh, <laughs> this is carnal talk if I've ever heard one. Right, war, and spoils. Those are physical things, right? When he's speaking on a, sp a physical sense, because he's not sp speaking on a, a spiritual sense. If not, you know, he'd be just attacking the doctrine. He's talking about spoils. Yeah, well, it gets better though. Here we have in the chat, man. You know, I I really should have blocked a lot of the names, but then again, uh, Facebook is owned by uh, basically by the CIA, so it's not like I'm giving out something. This is public knowledge, right? This is put out there. So for all of you in, that believe that you know it's wrong for me to share names, this is already public. But anyways, right? This is what we see. Uh, it, it, look at the bottom comments. If if my Ada Wong, um, Yadaya, Yahawada can't make it for some reason, I'll be on standby, sir. Right? These people are eager to get carnal, man. And a lot of these people are led astray uh, because this is what they were taught was the norm. This is normal. It's normal to just you know, recompense vengeance on another brother. It's normal to just, you know, show up and get ready to throw hands with a brother. Right? If you're on the IU, ISUPK. Right? Here you got Shepard Thayak. I'm one of, the, I'm one of the two, sir. Right? These people are ready. Salakia, Commanding General Yohana, when you're ready to send two, Baba Kusha, send me as well, General. Right. Total carnality. This is what prompted the. This is what prompted this man. And, and there's more. You know they're all doing this. I've never seen a war being set up in public like this. But okay, it's weird. But a lot of you, a lot of you, uh, uh. People in ISUPK, you're still carnal, man. You're still carnal. So you, you, you're not even developed yet in this truth, man. You can't not 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 under those those that leadership, right? We got Esau, you know, putting uh, laws into place to divide you, and you're basically helping them while you 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 you're setting an example as to what to do. In Israel, because you you saying you're the leader, right? So you you're saying that everybody got to come to you, man. You think that this is the way, man? You got something coming for you, man. Esau's coming for you with with, with with all that tough, with all that tough talk, man. The scriptures talk about that. Even the brave ones are gonna be crying out like a woman in pain, right? This is a. Who was that? Salakia. I was looking for something. Project Megiddo. Where was it? Anyways. Project Megiddo. Is a... Is a... Is a, a government... Basically, uh, what are they? What is it called? It's not a. It's not a law, but they passed a some type of um, government agreement that they are going to label Christians, Muslims, and Israelites as homegrown terrorists. If you look at Project Megiddo. What is Project Megiddo? Here are some results from the web. No, that's not what I want. Project Megiddo. 
According to Wikipedia, Project Megiddo was a report researched and written by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation under direct. Right here it is. For over 4,000 years, Megiddo, a hill of northern Israel. Let me get. Where's the reference, man? Here it is. In, in the United States, domestic terrorism is defined as terrorist acts that were carried out within the United States by U.S. citizens and or U.S. permanent residents. As of 2021, the United States government considered white supremacists to be the top domestic terrorist, terrorist threat. Let's look at the terrorist organization. Oh, man. I don't know if I could go through all these. There's a bunch of names. And it goes... All right, so I'm not going to go through all these, but you can go through them, right? Israelites are in there. There's even Israelite camp groups in there. And, I mean, it looks like this is the goal for them, man. They want to be the toughest, baddest uh, camp out there, man, but... It's all going to backfire, man. And, and with that, I'm going to say Shalom.